What is up, guys? It's Caleb with the Meta Jungle team. You can find me at DuckMcDuck11 on Twitter, OpenSea, and Discord. And I'm here to talk a little bit more about block packs. In fact, we're going to do another rip. Now, last time I was ripping Infinite Moment packs. This time I'm going to be ripping packs of Raz, which are corresponding to the latest series of Infinite Moments. And basically, the way that it works is you get one Raz for each Infinite Moment that you have in your wallet of a corresponding series. It's a pretty simple formula. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. As a reminder, Raz are basically just tokens that represent opportunities to win a real physical card or some other cool stuff. The Raz get progressively burned in rounds until there is one winner at the end of all of the burns. For a more detailed description of how this all works, you can go and check out my earlier Block Packs videos. Now, before each Elite drop, the Block Packs team releases a set list of what the prizes are in their Discord. Looking at the set list provided here, we can see that there are 25 cards to be won with Raz, one Legend Geek Mint Pass to be won with Raz, 50 Instant Win cards, 139 Collision Art Instant Wins, and 293 Crowd Slab Instant Wins of what I think is basically a joint ownership of a 2001 Tom Brady debut ticket. So all in all, some pretty cool stuff that you could win here. And if you scroll down, you can actually see all of this stuff listed out. Now, it looks like the biggest ticket item is a Michael Jordan game jersey auto car that is estimated to be worth about $45,000 to $60,000, so that would be a pretty cool thing to win. Well, let's now get into the actual ripping. As you can see, I'm on my Black Packs account, and I have 29 Raz from the Infinite Moment Series 2 that I have required. In my last video, I ripped a box of 20 Infinite Moments, then I went and acquired 9 more on the secondary market on OpenSea, so now I have a total of 29. But let's get right into this rip. Alright, so here we go. Got our first one here. And it is a Sidney Crosby 2005 PSA 10 Black Diamond card. I think that might be his rookie card. Moving right on to packets number two. And this is a gold or yellow level one. So kind of something a little bit more special. And hey, that's awesome. It's that Michael Jordan game jersey autograph card that we saw. That's worth a lot, so cool to get one of those. Moving on to number three, another gold. And it's a Black Lotus BGS-8. I don't really know what that is. It must be some sort of trading card game, kind of like Pokemon or something, but I'm not entirely sure what that is. Something to look into. Moving on to our next one. And Kyler Murray Auto, 9.5 BGS. So definitely something kind of cool. And a game-worn jersey. Four of five, I think it said. Wow. Moving right along here. We got a Barry Bonds game-worn jersey, number 5 of 25, BGS 9, with a 10 auto. So pretty cool. Moving on. Oh, huh, this is interesting. I've never seen one of these. A Ted Williams autographed ball. So that's the first time I've seen a collectible item like that that wasn't a card offered as a RAS token. So that'd be pretty sweet to win. All right, so a blue one here. And it's a Tiger Woods auto from 2001 S&P. So pretty cool. Good stuff. And a 1980 Topps Ricky Henderson PSA 9. I think that might be his rookie card. I'm not entirely sure. Moving on here. Okay, an Albert Pujols 2001 Bowman Auto. And that is, I think, his rookie card. You could tell too. I mean, it's 2001, but also his numbers, 36 instead of 5. Love Albert Pujols. That's pretty cool. And oh, our first duplicate. So another Sidney Crosby. That's not a bad thing with these. You kind of want as many duplicates as possible to kind of better your chances getting a card. This is an interesting one. This is a badge from the Masters in 1997 or Tiger Woods one. So that's an interesting little collectible. Next up, we have a Cristiano Ronaldo 2006 Benini World Cup, 9.5. Very cool. And 
and a 2020-2021 Allen Iverson Auto. It might be a Game worn jersey too. But yeah, very nice. Moving on here, we've got a blue one. Ooh, a Luka Doncic. I think it's a yeah rated rookie 2018 Panini Hollow. So that's got to definitely be worth something. Luka is a fantastic player. He's probably got a long career ahead of him. Got a gold here. Let's see what we're gonna grab. Another Black Lotus. So that card's got to be worth something for it to be in the gold or yellow or whatever tier. It's got to be something fairly valuable, fairly rare. Moving on, and other Allen Iverson auto. So I got two of those, two of the Black Lotus, and I think two Crosbys. <laughs> Another gold, okay. And, oh, a game-worn jersey. Hey, that's it's actually that really valuable Michael Jordan card, so cool to get two of those. Gotta love that. Another gold and ah, Legend Geek Mint Pass. So this is kind of interesting with these. So these are from block packs and they allow you to kind of mint your own uh, PFP from a project. Uh, I think they're called Geeks that block packs is doing. So you'll see a lot of the guys that are uh, into block packs having one of these. They also give you an opportunity to purchase uh, infinite moments and I think other perks and other things straight from block packs without having to go on secondary to grab them which can kind of cut the price a little bit. So very cool, it'd be awesome to have one of those, but I think you can get them on secondary, they're just fairly expensive. Moving on here, and another Ted Williams ball. So very cool, got two of those. And a LeBron James game worn jersey, 2004-2005. Moving on here, we got Randy Moss, 61 out of 84, BGS 9 auto. Very cool. Got a silver, it's another Cristiano Ronaldo. So, getting some duplicates, not a bad thing at all. And a Tom Brady 2003 uh, 9 mint game worn jersey. So, nice. And another Sidney Crosby. So I think that makes three Sidney Crosby cards. Moving on here, a blue. So hopefully something good. A Kareem Abdul-Jabbar 2012 Panini Auto and Game Worn Jersey. So that's awesome. Another gold. Awesome, it's another one of those Michael Jordan. So got three of those. I couldn't have done much better getting three of those out of all of these for the most valuable card. And another Barry Bonds. I think that's the second one we've gotten of that. That's another really cool card. And our last one here, it's a blue. See what we're gonna get. A Magic Johnson 2003 auto. So one of 13 out of 32, so a really nice rare card. All right, and that's it. That, that was good. A good uh, packs opening there. Got plenty of duplicates, which is kind of what you want. Would have been cool to get some instant wins, but that's all right. Now I can go over to my OpenSea profile and unhide all of these. And after I unhide them, they'll show up over in my collected until they're burned off in the rounds. Um, as they're kind of eliminated and they get closer and closer to winning. Hopefully, uh, I'll win one of these. Uh, it'd be really cool, especially that Michael Jordan card. I got three tickets for that. Um, I think at the end of this, I had three Michael Jordans and three of the Sidney Crosbys and uh, several other that, so that I had uh, duplicates of. Um, if I wanted to, I could go and maybe uh, trade these to other people. I know that the community is pretty good about wanting to trade uh, their RAS tokens so that they can try to get as many tickets of one specific card that they're targeting as possible to kind of increase their chances a little bit. So not a bad strategy um, if that's something that you wanted to put in the work and do. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this uh, rip. That was kind of a cool experience getting to go through all of those cards and 
see what all I was able to get and hopefully I'll be able to actually win something. I haven't won anything yet, but even if I don't, it's awesome that I still have my infinite moments, which is how I got all of those Raz in the first place. So kind of a cool little perk to having infinite moments, which uh, retain their value pretty well and they're gonna offer some cool perks down the road but stay tuned for more nft and block packs updates uh, make sure to follow me and the meta jungle both on twitter go hop in the meta jungle discord check at me out over in the physical collectible nft uh, channel over there and also make sure to like share and subscribe as always really appreciate it but guys again thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time <music>